hospitals are, are at or near capacity there, as, as I understand it. The state's largest hospitals ran out of ICU beds this week. What, what are you hearing from folks on the ground there in Mississippi? Yeah, I mean, I went to three different hospitals within Singing Rivers Health System, one here in Ocean Springs, another in Gulfport, another in Pascagoula. All three of them are at or near capacity at various points. We've seen ambulance come, ambulances come up to this emergency room area and have to wait because beds are not available here. Everyone that we speak to, they say that they are at capacity, not just in terms of the levels of bed of staff they have, but also just emotionally. They feel like they are fighting a battle that really does not have to be so bad right now. We went on to the COVID ICU floor at this hospital and we met a nurse who was finishing up one of her final shifts on that ICU floor. She said that she just couldn't take this anymore and that she needed to change departments because she's doing everything she can to help people but feel like they're not doing everything they can to help them. The doctors, the nurses, the respiratory therapists we've spoken to, they say they understand if people have questions and concerns about the COVID-19 vaccines. Questions, they say, are not a problem, but they say far too many people are relying on information that they see on the internet, not from any credible source. Instead of talking to them, the doctors, the nurses, the respiratory therapists who are on the COVID floors treating this virus every single day. I spoke to one respiratory therapist and asked her what it is like in those moments before when they are having to intubate patients, what they tell her when they are able to speak. Listen to what she told us. What are they saying to you? Do they regret? Please don't let me die. They regret not taking the vaccine. Um, I've had multiple people tell me that they wish they would have taken it. I've seen more death than I ever thought that I would see in my entire life. It's getting to the point where we need help. We've been helping as much as we can, and we need help from, you know, our community. And that second person you heard from there, that is Jen. She is the nurse who, after years of being an ICU nurse. She has said that she just can no longer do this anymore and she is changing departments because it is just too much. Across all three hospitals within this health system, 90% of the hospitalized COVID patients are unvaccinated. Doctors here, they are asking people to consider getting vaccinated because when people choose not to and when they are not relying on good information, again, from the doctors who actually deal with this every single day, who specialize in this. They are seeing those people come into their ICUs and then they are begging them to do whatever they can to save their lives. Craig? Yeah, when it's, uh, when it's too late, uh, Allison Barber there. And your heart really does have to go out to these, these nurses and doctors and respiratory therapists who've been on the front lines of this thing for more than a year now. And, and Dr. Cass, they're at, their, they're at their wits end. I mean, you've got, you know, ER nurses who presumably have seen the worst of the worst for years and years, and, and they're, they're reaching their breaking point. Do you get the sense, Dr. Cass, that as, as, as people see more and more folks getting sick and hospitalized, that this is, is so